Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am just over the moon excited about this makeup. As you can see from the sticker, we have some new makeup from Kim Chi Chic Beauty. If you don't already know, I am a major RuPaul's Drag Race fanatic. Absolutely 100% my favorite show. And Kim Chi is a drag queen that was on RuPaul's Drag Race season eight. My name is Kim Chi and I came here to destroy everyone with my makeup. I'm known for a crazy over the top pure anime fantasy. Kim Chi. I mean, I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos before, you've probably seen my handy dandy kimchi chic mirror that I use all the time. She did a collaboration with another famous drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race season 11, Plastique Tiara. Plastique Tiara is one of those queens that's just known for being gorgeous. Xin chào các bạn, tôi là Plastic Tiara của Việt Nam. A Plastic Tiara I'm from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I've been playing tricks on you. This bitch is stunning. It's not Instagram filters, the bitch is stunning. And so they did a little collaboration and I was so excited. So this is the lip kit. Comes with two liquid lipsticks, I think. A lip gloss, a liquid lipstick, and a lip pencil. But I wanna start with the face palette because there's also a face palette. Look, I didn't even realize that it was gonna come with this bag. Uh, stunning, I can't put my mirror in it. Uh. Okay, so we will come back to the eyeshadows, of course, but I wanna start with the Nude Sensation, Life in Plastique. These two queens go full nude. Blush, bronzer, highlighter. So there is Miss Beautiful Kim Chi herself on the back, Miss Gorgeous Plastic Tiara. The packaging feels really neat. Oh, wow. So here's the inside. Here's what it looks like. So we have Plastique's side. Oh, and it's got her Instagram handle, clever. And then this is Kim Chi's side. I'm kind of thinking I'll go with Kim Chi's side, at least today. I mean, this is probably a more like universal friendly side, Plastique's side, but I just tend to go for cooler tones. I'm gonna start with the bronzer, actually. So I've tried bronzers from Kim Chi in the past, and I remember them being kind of messy and pretty pigmented. Although I did intentionally buy a shade that was like, not really meant for my skin tone. It was meant for deeper skin tones. And then I was like, wow, it's like really pigmented. So bronzers are tricky because I like to use pretty big brushes for bronzers. And this pan is not really quite large enough. I mean, I'm making it work. I'm just gonna kind of have to like be careful not to get it because I don't want to get into the highlighter. I definitely don't want to put highlighter where my bronzer is going. Okay. I I don't think I got a whole lot on the brush, but I mean, it's definitely there. Oh, wow. It's pigmented, y'all. So yeah, the pigment is giving good payoff. And like I just said a moment ago, I hardly got any of it on my brush, I feel like. So you don't need a lot of this one to make it work. And also it being more pigmented means that it's gonna be more likely to work for deeper skin tones as well. So we like that. We like a multi-skin tone friendly bronzer. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm here for it. Okay, cool, that ought to work. Let's go ahead and jump into the blush. So I'm gonna use the super duper pink kimchi side of the blush. Honestly, this is more a shade that I would typically, oh my goodness, go for for myself. It's just like so cool toned. I'm a little nervous about it. Okay, it's a little messy in the pan. So I was like kind of expecting it to overwhelm me with pigment, but it's not. It's going down really cute. Look, so blush. No blush. Nice little subtle wash moment. 
I haven't used a whole lot, so I'm guessing you can build it up. Ooh, yeah, I am liking this blush, excuse me. It's a little messy. Okay, wow, I actually really like this blush. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I didn't think I would hate it, but I'm kind of like really surprised at how much I like it. Like I was, I, I imagined I would just be like, yeah, it's nice, it's cute, okay, moving on. But this is actually like really, like I like the tone of it, the way that it's going down and like blending and building, it's like super nice. Cool, oh, love that. Love it when I love something. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try a little bit of the highlighter, the one with the K in it. Oof, her highlighter's like, I think she's got one that's like supposed to be like majorly crazy glowy, but her highlighters, they're buildable, so they can go down light and just be like a really nice, pretty little shine, just like that, without it looking Texture, oh my gosh, wow. Oof, that is nice. Okay, so nothing. Bing! Oh my gosh, it looks really cool in person. It has a kind of like iridescent sort of thing happening. This one is a little bit glittery. It has like super duper tiny fine particles of glitter. If you're not about glitter, but you wanna try one of her highlighters, try the ones in the little heart compacts. Okay, let's let's do something about these eyes, these eyeballs. Uh, okay, so this is the Nude Sensation Snack for Two Nine Color Eyeshadow Kit with two palettes. So we've got a kimchi palette and a plastic tiara palette. Ooh, okay, so this is plastiques, right? Check it. Oh, very pretty. This is a really interesting color. This is an interesting color, and then this is also a very interesting color. It's kind of a, oh, put my finger in it, whoops. The shimmers in there look stunning. Let me check out the kimchi palette because I think I'm gonna like this one. Oh my God, I love it. Ah! I like that she did some kind of warm tones and cool tones. I have to use these two on the bottom. I have to, I have to. I absolutely, like there's just no other option for me today. There's no other choice. We're gonna keep it simple today because I don't have a ton of time and we wanna do a day two, so I don't need to do like one super intricate look. We can do like more than one look and do like another small look with both of the palettes. So anyways, we're gonna go with this shade. Also, something else that I really love about Kim Chi is that their makeup is affordable. Like it's not break the bank, you know? It's not like, it's not drugstore. You know, it's gonna it's gonna cost you a little bit more than just standard drugstore stuff, but it's it's not like luxury, like crazy up there prices. Gorgeous! Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> a little bit just a little bit it wasn't a big deal listen let's talk about this pretty little purpley mauve pink shade whatever gorgeous color I love it I think it's a beautiful color I did find myself wishing it was a little bit more pigmented and I started to get impatient with building it up but I dipped into this brown shade right here it struck, strikes me as kind of a reddish brown and it is but I didn't love the way that it was looking I like I was like I'll try a little bit on my lower lash line but I didn't like the way that that looked so I just I did it on both sides of my lower lash line a little bit just to make them even um, and was like you know I'm just gonna take a more precise brush and really try to build up that super pretty pink shade, and it just like wasn't happening. So I reached for my Natasha Denona Love Palette, and if there's one thing 
Natasha Denona eyeshadows do not lack. It is pigment. So I took a little bit of this kind of burgundy shade heartbeat just to deepen things up. And I think that it is working right now. Let's continue though, because I do have to see about this shimmer shade. <laughs> and I think I'm going to take it all over. very pretty so I don't know if this is maybe supposed to be like a topper type of situation it also is not super pigmented it is a nude collection nude palette so maybe they weren't trying to give me just like a full-on bright pink moment like I'm sort of forcing it to be <laughs> the reflect is actually really interesting it's like green <laughs> like a little bit like lime greenish it's it's interesting. It's not what I was expecting based on the way that it looks in the pan, but I like it. I think it looks really pretty. Ooh. It is glittery and a little messy, so you've been warned. This look did not turn out how I was expecting it to, but I think it's really pretty. I like it. And you know, initially I pegged this as being like a topper. I was like, maybe this is supposed to be just like a glitter topper, but I am building it up and, and getting it to be kind of more opaque. So I'm definitely here for this. Okay, let me pop on some liner and some lashes and I'll be right all right y'all here we go so i'm loving it i mean y'all know i just love these colors so i did put on my believe beauty honey blush today um just because i felt like it was perfect like it worked now of course there is the lip kit that we need to check out but oh i just spit everywhere gross but i just kind of felt like uh, it's a little warm whenever we check out the other palette i'll try out the lip kit i just knew that it wasn't gonna vibe with what i ended up doing today so now that i've got this out of my system i got that one really really pretty pink shade and the shimmer shade out of my system i will be back tomorrow to do another look and use the other side of the face palette as well as the lip kit from this new little nude sensation collection so stay tuned i'll be right back <sighs> Y'all, we gotta go warm today. We gotta go warm. I'm gonna try out the plastique side of the palette. So let's get jumping off with the bronzer. We're gonna go right in here. It's a little messy. Face palettes are never ideal for like stamping your brush just because you can easily get into the highlighter, right? Very nice. The shade's really not that different. It looks slightly deeper in the pan and it is slight, like ever so very slightly more pigmented than the kimchi side of the palette. And it is ever so slightly warmer than the kimchi bronzer. But even though it's kind of warm, like I'm still liking it. Very nice, lovely. Now let's go into the plastique side of the blush looks a little warmer than a shade that I would pick out for myself, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not going to like it. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, I definitely still like the kimchi blush a lot better. I was like quite surprised by just how much I liked the kimchi blush. Like I expected I would like it, you know, like this one. I like it. It's fine <laughs> it's I don't know if in the future I mean if I need a warmer blush maybe this one also seems to be a little bit more pigmented than the kimchi blush but still applying really nicely not having to use a lot of it cool yeah that was really easy really fast really easy Finally, I am going to check out the gold highlighter. Gold highlighter? I don't do gold highlighter, like ever. But we're gonna try it. 
I think I definitely prefer the kimchi side of the palette. As far, oh my gosh, woof. It's a good highlight though. Ooh. I actually don't hate it. Don't hate the fact that it's gold. Probably because it's on top of a warmer blush. You know, the pans of course all work really well together. Stunning. Okay, let's get into some eyeshadow. I don't have a ton of time to get ready. So if it seems like I'm kind of just bam, bam, bam onto the next thing, it's because I am. Honestly, don't hate it. Like, it's a really cute little color story. This shade I find quite perplexing. I think I'm gonna probably stay away from it today. I think I'm gonna start with this shade right here, this kind of lighter, almost mid-tone brown. Kimchi does a really good job of making just like shadows that work well. Like this one, this one is just working really, really well. It's actually a little more pigmented than I was expecting it to be. Okay, lovely. That was really quick and easy. So these two browns, like honestly, really don't look that different to me. I guess this one's slightly deeper, maybe a little more red tone than this one. So I'm gonna go with this one and add some depth into the crease. Wow, that's actually really nice. <laughs> actually kind of here for this. These mattes are like gorgeous. And these are, these are really impressing me to be honest and they're being easy for me. I'm not having to put a ton of effort into blending. shimmers. I'm thinking that I'm going to use this one and this one. I'm going to start here. Um, I think that these are just true blue metallics, which I can definitely get into. I'm excited to try these. They look really pretty. Oh my, that is quite stunning. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, I love it. That's so pretty. Like, wow. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Love it. I'm going to go into the darker metallic now, the one on the other side. That's really nice. Okay, so I jumped off and finished my eyes, and honestly, <laughs> I am living for my makeup today. I guess it's maybe just because I don't do looks like this that often. I don't like naturally go for the neutrals, but I'm loving this. I think it looks so pretty. And I'm not like surprised, honestly. I'm not surprised that I love this, but I am, I don't know. I think I just need to remember that I do enjoy brown eyeshadow actually. Okay, let's try the lip stuff though, because we are racing the clock right now. I'm gonna start with this Kimchi Chic Beauty Nude Sensation Lip Pencil in the shade 03 Bento Babes. Oh, it's this kind of a lip pencil. Mm, okay. This lip pencil's really nice, actually, and I don't hate this shade. Again, little surprise, just not my normal go-to, but hey, we're doing new things. We're trying new things. It's fall, I changed my leaves. So anyways, let's move on to the liquid lipstick. I don't know what kind of liquid lipstick this is. I'm assuming it's like matte. The lip pencil is like a matte lip pencil, but it was still creamy enough that it applied easily. So that's great. Honestly, not mad about it, can't lie. I'm actually liking this warm look that we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna give this like a moment to dry down because I do wanna try the gloss, of course. Here's the thing about gloss though. I don't know, normally whenever I put a gloss over a matte liquid lipstick, 
it's just like makes the matte liquid lipstick come off and or move around you know it like demattifies it and i don't like that so i don't normally wear gloss over my matte liquid lipsticks but since it came in the kit we're gonna try it let's try a little bit of the gloss we're pretty much dry it's a nice comfy matte formula very opaque very pigmented dried down but doesn't feel like my lips are just gonna shatter because they're so dry. Oh, and I think that there's some glitter in it. Can't really see it, but. Okay, nice. So the gloss has some pigment to it. It's not totally opaque, but it's close. And it didn't totally just destroy the matte liquid lipstick, but it's like a normal gloss. So like if I, Probably if I tried to wipe my mouth right now, most of my lip products would come off. And you can see it's like smearing a little bit, but it's okay. I think it still looks good. So I actually really like the lip kit. It's definitely, I don't do warm that often, but I'll definitely reach for it whenever I am in the warm kind of mood. Eyeshadow palettes are wonderful. I knew that I liked her formula, so I'm not surprised. They're not like pigments but they are well pigmented for just typical eyeshadows and they blend beautifully and just work fabulously. I'm loving it. I think that the big, big win though was the face palette. I'm actually loving both sides of it and particularly the kimchi side of it. I super loved yesterday. And again, for like a warmer look, I do like this plastic side. So I think that the eye or the face palette I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of which frankly I wasn't expecting I don't normally like face palettes but I got it because it was part of the collection but I actually really like this one so anyways let me know what you guys think of this nude sensation collection from kimchi collaboration with plastique tiara and thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video okay Okay, <laughs> bye.